build this beast up with that blue. Hopefully this thing works. I'm seven. Bah, 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 bah. Don't know if that's right. It's probably not right. Yeah. Yep. Come on, everybody. How are we all doing? This morning, we're filling up with that blue. Funny enough, we're not filming for the Ad blue calendar because unfortunately this year, that's not going to go ahead because it's very, very stressful. Everyone is looking at me at the pumps over there and they're like, what the fuck is this fellow looking at? But um, yeah, now we're filming with Ad blue today and we're going to Belfast. Belfast is my first drop today. I have like a full retail distribution centre, a full load for them. And then back, tip back down to Dublin if I don't get a backload out of Belfast and then tip down to get reloaded and then I have another food retail distribution depot today. So around this time of the year, one of our main contracts is like, like food distribution or whatever. And uh, at this time of the year, it's very busy because Christmas is coming, Halloween's coming. Um, basically, there's gonna be a lot of eating going on, so we'll be busy, we'll be busy. It's currently 4.30 a.m. and we're at Castle Bellingham Services. I wonder how much Avalu this yoke will take. It's on 30%. So it should take about 45 litres, maybe 50 litres. That's one thing I'd change on this if I was to do anything different about this Volvo. I'd definitely get a bigger Avalu tank. Because these Euro 6 engines love their Avalu. And then I'm going to go over to the shop counter actually over there. I get some milk and some water so I can make a coffee. Oh, we're getting near the top in here now. Oh! <laughs> Wait, you see this? It just goes to show you how much I know this load. Look at this. 45 euro <laughs> or 45 litres not euro so pack this up go over there get some water and some milk and then make some coffee and then we'll head up to Belfast I'll show you how we make a coffee as well got our milk got our water and then down here <coughs> I have my coffee machine so this is definitely the handiest thing I've ever had in a lorry basically fill it up with water and then I like I call it a coffee maker. You can use filtered coffee in this if you wanted to, but I think I said it before in a video that it kind of just makes a mess filter coffee though. So I just use that as a kettle. Boil me water, um, have me coffee up there. I also have me milk, have me a cup. Just gonna throw this in over here. Um, and then I'm gonna fill it up. Oh, it's too early in the morning. I'm actually running very early this morning. It's not not usually like me. I'm I'm not usually I am usually always on time, but I'm never this early. And uh, this particular place we go to, it's always booked in really early in the morning. And if you're not there, like it's a big deal if you're not there on time. So uh, I kind of made it upon myself this morning that I have to get up here early, just so I don't know, kick the week off with a good start, if you know what I mean. Because sometimes, uh, if you're late on your first day of the week, it kind of just falls into every other day, you know? So yeah, that's the crack. Um, I know you've been all wondering <laughs> why I haven't made a video in a while. And sometimes, sometimes things just get too busy and uh, just I just don't want to do it, like, you know? Um, I actually, I, I say this in nearly every video I upload, but um, I wish, I could do things in like seasons or how do I put this? I actually respect the way, you know, like the Grand Tour or Top Gear or any of them big production companies only make one season a year is because it's a lot of work like, you know? Imagine trying to put out a video every week when you have a whole life to live and uh, bits to do and uh, people to look after. It's hard work, it's very hard work. I, I applaud everyone else that can make videos consistently every single week because I find it very difficult. Oh, kettle is just boiled. Don't know if you can hear that, but uh, I'll give it a minute there to tip on because so, this yolk, like the way it boils water, it just like goes, <laughs> spits it into the cup, 
So like you could press it off there and there could be stuff built up in it. And sometimes I open the lid on this and I just got it this spits hot water like so it's pointing that way. It usually gets me hand. I burnt my hand more times than I can count. And you and like you think that I'd know by now, but sometimes you forget. This yoke is basically just like a lid to stop it spilling. And then I pour this in here. Wait and hear the ASMR of this. That's filled. Nothing fancy, just an old uh, Nescafe Gold Blend Jab. Pour the excess outside so it doesn't spill all over the cab on you. You always get uh, bits and pieces of water spilled everywhere after, but that's okay because we come prepared in this camp. Oh, no. Right. I think we should get on the road to Belfast. What do you think? Otherwise, I'm going to be not late. I'm going to be... Never mind. Right, let's go. Usually, on my way out of Belfast most mornings, I usually stop and get myself a Greg's sausage roll. I know a lot of you say to me, oh, just, just go past Greg's today, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but uh, I'm actually trying to cut down on my expenditure outside of the lorry because the price everyone's bills is going through the roof and I really don't need them sausage rolls. And I'm also trying to look after myself too because uh, I bring me lunch an awful lot more with me these days. Maybe once or twice a week I'd buy me lunch out, but not a lot of people talk about it, but like if you were to spend or buy your lunch as a long distance truck driver every single day, you would spend well over 100 euro a week. Because I've done that a few times. You'd spend well, well over 100 euro a week just stopping in garages, getting coffees, uh, wasting money on like fucking, it's like seven euro for two sandwiches. That's how much it is these days. It's, it's ridiculous, it's mental. So I started bringing me lunch with me a lot more and uh, just trying to cut down on the expenditure because things are so expensive in this country. It's not even funny like how, how dear things have gotten. Like a bottle of Coke now is like two euro 20 or something. Uh, a cappuccino out of any of the, you know, uh, motorway services or anything like that, you're talking 3.54 euro. Like, so anytime you go in and buy a coffee or maybe a chocolate bar, like you wouldn't walk away with much change out of a tenner. And if you were doing that, say twice a day, five days a week, that's 100 euro, like just like that, gone. So uh, I'm trying to be smarter with my money and yeah, I'm just trying to, trying to keep all the funds in house and not, you know, give it out to petrol stations that make millions every year, you know? So I'm trying to cut down on every bit of expenditure because number one, uh, I'm gonna be getting married in a couple of years, so I have to try and save for a wedding. Number two, uh, I want to keep some of my money so I can fund it into other things for next year. And number three, I need to save more money. <laughs> I need to save more money. Because everything's just getting so expensive. You'd be, you'd be terrified if you didn't have at least a thousand euro buffer. You'd be, you'd be terrified right now. I would be terrified if I didn't have a thousand euro buffer. You know? Like it's, you need to have a thousand euro buffer. So any young lads that are watching me, stop spending money on shy. Stop buying loads of Red Bull and drinking it because it's, it's a cost of fortune. So just take some advice from me who's been there and done that. Try and, keep as much money in your pocket as you can make your lunch every day or even when you're when you're out during the week like buy a loaf of bread buy a bit of butter and buy some ham and just make some ham sandwiches pretty cost you a tenner for the whole week to make your lunch do you know what i'm saying so uh yeah money saving tips buy a packet of ham <laughs> oh god we'll let mr m&m tires out of the coles road dundalk there hey
so yeah that's the crack heading down the M1 here now it's it's half nine right now so I'm hoping that the Dublin traffic won't be that bad by the time I hit it it could be terrible I don't know I don't know yet because the past couple of weeks on the M1 and the M50 has just been for want of a better word bollocksed it's been absolutely bollocksed doesn't matter what direction you're going up down left right there's a traffic jam going everywhere so you know it's getting closer to Christmas when you start feeling the traffic coming closer so that's why I like to get up even earlier than I usually do and just get down the road as quick as I can these days and this episode of the Drive It IG YouTube channel is brought to you by the Drive It IG podcast yes so if you haven't already head across to the Dwig podcast channel I'll leave the link below in the description there's uh, four or five episodes up there at the moment and again I'm going to do them in season so I'm going to try and get out six episodes every you know two or three months um, I love to do it every week but unfortunately that's just not possible in my line of work and then trying to get guests on and other stuff like so uh, yeah so I'm going to try and put out a few more of them before Christmas and I'm going to have uh, one hopefully on Christmas day with a good guest and uh, then on Christmas day because I know some people around Christmas get a bit lonely or don't have that much family or whatever or they, maybe they just don't want to be around anybody but they want to listen to a conversation I'm planning on getting on a good guest for Christmas day uh, like I did last year I had David Goody on last year and this year I'm going to have someone else on. Um, so yeah, that's the way I'm going to do the podcast. So if you haven't checked any of them out, head over to the podcast channel, watch them on YouTube. I'm kind of going to stay away from Spotify with those podcast episodes because I'll tell you one thing for another. Spotify and all that is just another thing that people have to sign up for to listen to it and pay for it. And do you know what the worst thing is? If like, just say you didn't watch Spotify or didn't listen to Spotify, uh, but you wanted to listen to my podcast, I mean, someone has to sign up and spend 12 euro a month. They probably don't have to watch it, whereas YouTube is free for everybody. You might have to sit through a couple of ads here and there, but at least it's free to you. Do you know what I mean? It costs you nothing. And also it costs me nothing to put it up on Spotify because it cost me a fortune to put it on Spotify. You wouldn't believe how much it costs. So I'm going to stick away from Spotify. I'm just going to put them all on YouTube. So then not only are you getting the audio, you get the visual. And to me, I like listening to a podcast when I have the visuals as well. I can see people talking because there's a lot of stuff taken out of context with podcasts and if you can't see what their what you know their movements and how they approach something you can never really get gauge on what they're what way they're trying to say something so yeah that's just my opinion so anyways that was a bit long-winded but please go check out the podcast channel i put a lot of effort into it and i'm trying to get as good a guest on for you guys that i possibly can and any topics that you'd like me to talk about drop them down below and uh i'll see if i can cover them Making a sweat today. Welcome to Tuesday. So today uh, I started at 4.30 again this morning and I actually went down to Aldi in Mitchellstown, uh, technically County Limerick I think um, and I had a delivery down to Aldi down there this morning. I didn't bother filming that because you're not allowed filming there either and I can't film what's going off the trailer but uh, I had a full load in for Aldi there this morning and then I headed back to Dublin and then I have another load now into another place that I can't tell you where it is. But uh, as you would have seen, it was a load of pallets, so it's going into a manufacturer's of some descriptions, if you can kind of guess what that is. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing this afternoon. I actually uh, stopped filming yesterday because I completely forgot what I was doing. I got back uh, after getting across on the M50, and basically the second load that I had to collect was... Uh, I, I went over with it, but they cancelled it. They didn't want to take it, so I ended up just bringing the load back, and that was kind of the end of the day. I didn't really want to film anything else then after that because uh, I'd woken up at 4 30 that morning and there was nothing really else to show you. I just went back to the yard, got my van and went home, so that was kind of boring. Uh, I thought I might have got that load tipped, back loaded me load from Mitchellstown and then maybe down the road, but because it was so early when it got rejected and the trailer just went back, I was like, well, there's no point in heading down to Mitchellstown at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I'd be parked up on all by half four maybe. So I was like, nah, I'll just go home. So I went home and... Uh, just did a few bits around home, trying to get it set up uh, with the new company. 
and yeah, that's what I've been doing. So today, uh, I did all that. Uh, it's been busy enough all morning. What time is it? It's only literally just gone two o'clock there now, so I've been doing really well for time. I, I went down to Mitchestown, tipped me load, back to Dublin, reloaded, and now I'm in here. So, do you know, I'm, I'm fairly motoring now this week, uh, but I'm very tired. I'm already tired and it's Tuesday, so it's not a good sign. So, um, What's the plans for the rest of the day? I'm gonna tip this load here now. More than likely, I'm gonna get into that bed there behind me and have a little snooze because I'll probably be in here for an hour, I'd say. Oh, saying that? We're starting to get tipped. But these do change shift in 10 minutes, so. Whether they tipped a the whole lot or not, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna hop into the bed there and try and get, catch 40 winks. Um, I try and do that as much as I can if I'm on a bay and I'm, I'm kind of sitting here doing nothing anyway. I kind of just hop into the bed and get 10, 15 minutes sleep even if I can because by the time Friday comes around, I think I said it yesterday, by the time Friday comes around, you'd re you'd be wrecked, especially when you're doing like all Ireland. Like some people that are only doing local stuff don't be too, too bad, but when you're focused looking at the road the whole way down to Cork and back and then doing stuff in the afternoon, you'd be tired. So I always catch 40 winks somewhere along the line and I keep plenty of coffee on board to keep me going. Um, for the rest of the day now today, I don't think I'll be doing anything else after this. I think I'll be dropping the trailer back and uh, going home because I'll probably be out of hours. I started at four this morning, it's two o'clock now. Let's just say this takes an hour to get tipped, then I'll have to drop a trailer back. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably be near enough wrapped up. I, there's no point me heading down the country tomorrow either because I already know what I'm doing. And I'm going as far as leash um, tomorrow. So won't be a long day tomorrow either. Some weeks can be different, you know, like some weeks you could be sent to Cork nearly every day of the week and backload out of Cork and then back up. Some weeks you might only be on short stuff. It just depends. And to be honest with you, I don't really mind because it keeps me on my toes. I never know what I'm really doing, which is a good thing. Like I obviously know what kind of work I will be doing, but um, I never know exactly for sure what I'm going to be doing every single week. So yeah, sometimes the van doesn't leave the yard for two weeks at a time. Sometimes I'm home and every night just sometimes it works out like that um around this time of the year now it just can be so up and down you just wouldn't know what's going on so yeah so uh at the minute we're heading across to renault trucks ireland and there's my friend darren uh, we're heading across to renault trucks ireland to drop that uh new renault t range in for an inspection and it's i think it's it's forced engine service um the service interval is very long on the new Renault T's, especially those 13 litre engines. I think the service interval is about 80, 90,000 kilometres, something like that. Don't quote me on that, I could be wrong. But I know it's a very, very long service interval, which is brilliant. So it means you're only getting them serviced probably twice every three years. Am I right in saying that? Nearly. Not far off, anyway. Um, so what was I going to say? Yeah, so we're heading across there now. Um, we're going to brace the M50. He's actually after bulleting ahead of me there. So I'm just about to get onto the M50 here. I'm just on the Palmerstown Bypass here, or the N4. Um, out of Dublin, going to get on the M50 here and head across. And I thought I'd say this publicly in the video, and I'm not trying to uh, blow smoke up anybody's bum or anything. But uh, Renault Trucks Ireland has to be one of the best, if not the best, uh, truck dealer in Ireland at the moment, in my opinion. And the reason why I say that is, is, and I'm not being paid to say it, this is not an endorsement of them or anything like that, this is just true facts. Um, I've been dealing with them for, like, not me personally, but through the company, I've been in and out of them, I've been talking to the lads, I've had a couple of demos off them and stuff like that. Um, over the years, they are just, hats off to them, they're just unbelievable. The service that they provide, the sales that they do, um, they're absolutely fantastic. And I'm not just saying that like lightly. This has uh, been built up over the past few years. Uh, any of the trucks we've ever bought off them. Um, the first new T-Range Renault we bought in 2016 um, has been an absolute dream of a lorry. Hasn't given any bother at all. There's nearly a million kilometers on that truck now. Um, so I think it's like 800 hills on it. And the only ever bother that truck ever gave was an injector. And that was covered under warranty. Um, and then what else gave bother? The window wiper motor, that was the only thing that gave bother. That was also replaced by warranty. That was within the first two years, maybe, I think that went. Um, apparently it was a common enough fault, so they, uh, they done a campaign on it or whatever. And the second Renault we bought, having had, and that was in 2019, uh, that has had no issues as far as I can, as far as I'm aware. I can't remember exactly, but I don't think it's had any issues whatsoever. Only gone in for general maintenance and servicing and, and the driver tipped it off a couple of things once or twice, but nothing major, just panels. So, um, 
Yeah, that's all I can think of. And now this one here has been absolutely flawless. The new 440 we were after getting, it's been absolutely flawless. I have not had a single issue with it once. There's been more issues with this than there has been with that. Um, just the lads are brilliant. They know what they're doing. Great team of lads. And the, over the past few years, they've built up a, a savage team between uh, technicians, managers, sales lads, and the guys who run the show. Brilliant operation, so I recommend them highly. Anyway, after enough kissing arse there now with Renault Trucks Ireland, um, we're heading across now to uh, Satanta. We're going to have a quick, maybe a quick little breeze around the far car, see if there's anything tasty sitting around, uh, see if anyone has bought some new gear. And yeah, going to go over and have a look. So let's head across the M50 here. It's not that busy. We're, we'll actually get across it with ease now, but it looks of things. Um, and just take a quick gander around Renault Trucks Ireland. Now the video's getting interesting. See what I mean? If I had just ended the video there and went home, he would have had no content to digest. Do you know what I'm saying? We're going to go look at some fabulous diamonds. Some French baguettes. French connections. I'm so tired. <laughs> so tired. And I got asleep. I got a half an hour sleep on the bay there earlier on. Now, look how similar that looks to our one. Look. Basically, it's the exact same. Nice black one as well. That's very nice. Few vans. Hang on, I'll spin around here and have a look. I'm just being nosy now. Uh, we'll get a U turn done here. Look at the size of this place. This place is really impressive. And then our traffic vans as well, they sell here now. So we'll go up there and have a nosy, will we? Sure, why not? That's one thing I'm very good at. That is, that is really nice. Once you put a bit of colour on something, it's amazing how nice they look. New cement mixer, couple of new rigids, T hoyas, plenty of T hoyas about the place. Another T hoy, couple of vans, walking floor trailers, waste disposal trailers, bits and pieces of everything. They have the variety, they've got the spice. I better go pick this lad up, he's probably wondering where I'm going. Well, this is not where I was aiming to be <laughs> at this time of the day. Oh, God. So we're on hour... We're on nearly hour 13 of today. No, we're nearly on hour 14 of today. It's now... Yeah, it's nearly six o'clock. I have to, what happened was, one of the drivers got very, very delayed and he was meant to get a container on for tomorrow. And I'm not saying I'm a hero or anything, but I'm here and I'm getting, I'm offloading one container and loading another container. And then, then I can go home. Now, we wouldn't ask anyone else to do this, but you know yourself. Work has to be done. Has to be. It has to be ready to go for tomorrow. And with a bit of luck, tomorrow will go a bit smoother for that driver, and he won't get held up as much. So, yep, that's what it is. So right now, waiting for the forklift over there to lift off a couple of lads, and there's obviously a couple of lads here waiting to get loaded as well. So hopefully we won't be too long here, and then I'm going to shoot over to Stack G, lift me full container, and with a bit of luck, get up the road without hitting too much traffic because I actually have to be home for. Uh, something I have to do at about half seven and it's now yeah we're gonna be doing very well if I make it home before half seven very well now as Bruce Lee says wax on wax off or something like that we are out of here this is probably Rob by the way yep we're out of here and we are going to the yard and then getting in the van and bouncing home so that is the end officially Tuesday, I hope. <laughs>